600 gigawatt of solar installation. That's the targeted amount for the European Union until 2030. And I think we should understand this as a lower limit. But still 600 gigawatt, that's a very huge area. That's 3 billion square meters of solar panels or 420,000 football fields. And now the question is, where should we install all these solar panels? And I think we all agree that we should first make use of the huge potential on already sealed areas, which means we should install solar on roofs, on facades, but also around highways and airports. But currently, the solar panels still have a problem. They reflect light on their surface. So the light is not converted into electricity to 100%. So that's an efficiency loss. And the other effect is that these reflections, since the sun is very, very bright, are causing glare. So people are really blinded by the reflections. And this is causing real annoyance in neighborhoods. And oftentimes, neighbors are suing the PV owners that they have to remove their installation in order to stop the glare. And now imagine that every single roof has to be covered with solar panels. And this is the plan, actually. I think that's a real threat if we don't solve the glare problem that the acceptance in the society for the solar energy will drop. And the other aspect of the glare is that it's a real safety issue. So around airports and highways where we have ideal conditions in principle for PV, since we have very good accessibility, we have good grid connection and also um, the demand for the electricity is nearby. But we have to make sure that at every point in time over the whole year, the drivers and the pilots are not blinded by the reflections. And this is actually very difficult. So it's not easy to install solar around these infrastructure. And that's a huge area potential, which is difficult to use right now. That's more than 200 gigawatt, which would be unlocked if we solve the glare problem. The good news is that we have solved this reflection problem. With our coating now, it is possible to create solar modules which are absolutely glare-free under all conditions. So this enables this huge area potential for PV power generation. And so we can now accelerate the energy transition in Europe. We do this with a bionic approach, we use the micro and nanostructures of rose petals, which are able to collect the light from all angles of incidence and of all wavelengths almost perfectly. So solar panels not, are not only glare-free, but they are also much more efficient. So they, col they convert the light better into electricity, which means that the overall power output of the, over the year is rising by up to 7%, which is quite a big jump regarding the long time it takes for the PV industry to increase their efficiency of only 1%. And especially the suboptimal orientations benefit the most, which are typically connected with the glare problem, as you see here. So here's a typical situation. The neighbor is blinded in the living room by the PV roof nearby. So we replaced the existing panels with Phytonics coated panels. This was done yesterday, and as you can see, the glare problem is solved. The neighbor is now really happy, and the homeowner is also enthusiastic and wants to invest in Phytonics. We experience a really high demand from both PV industry and the end customers, and without having done any marketing efforts, we already have 100,000 square meters of demand collected, and this is becoming more every day. So we get requests on a daily basis. So this underlines the urgent need for our solution. And of course, that's highly motivating for our team, where we have a strong technical background. Many of us did their doctorate in this field, but we have also a strong business component with the co-founder Moritz Luck, who already founded a couple of companies and made a nine-digit exit. And yeah, during the seed phase, we were able to develop a market-ready product. 
And right now we are starting our pilot production so that we can deliver 1,000 coatings this year. And next year we really want to start the mass production and to accelerate the energy transition here in Europe and also to provide a technology adv advantage for our industry here. So that's why we will collect 3 million euros in the Series A later this year and we are already in talks with investors, so don't miss the opportunity and invest in solar with Phytonics. Thank you very much. Thank you.